suggestion by Murphy was wholly bogus to suggest that one employer in private communications to another employer, if they revealed that someone uh, may be subject to a police investigation, that some way would prejudice the police investigation, was absolute torch from the beginning. And I'm not surprised the chief constable has blown it out of the water. But what we have here is is mixed messaging this week around child protection. Absolutely. Sinn Féin, by their words and by their deeds, has dug themselves into an indefensible position. Uh, crowned off with the First Minister uh, telling us laughingly that uh, though a person she knows was standing in front of her within 10 feet, uh, that she didn't see him. Uh, you know, well, she might not have seen him. <laughs> well... And then she should go to spec savers uh, and she should she should stop trying to take the people of Northern Ireland for fools. And then it's crowned by the fact that standing beside her is her special advisor. Did he not see him? Her junior minister, Ms. O'Reilly, is there. Did she not see him? You know, it, it, none of this adds up. But the fundamental here is that Sinn Féin uh, officials of the highest rank, uh, namely Sean McGuire, uh, the chief spin doctor, uh, give a commendation to a person who turned out to be a paedophile so that he could go work for another employer. And that is the purpose of a reference. And if it had been adverse, then there's no doubt the person wouldn't have got the job. So we can reasonably infer it was a commendation of him uh, which advocated for him in getting the job. When Sean McGeer filled in that reference, as you well know, McMonagall was pleading his innocence and had not been charged. Yes, but uh, uh, as, 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 Sinn Féin, as Sinn Féin well knew, he was 